Even though we had a ton of things in the last Call of Duty news video about Call of Duty 2, I mean World War 2, we had some recent things for the Call of Duty games that we could actually play at this moment that we need to go over. Firstly, in Infinite Warfare news, there was a patch that dropped on Tuesday which brought new weapons and also the long-rumored score streak variants into the game with some other fixes that were discussed in Infinity Ward's latest stream. The two new weapons are the Augur, which was codenamed Mini LMG that looks like a Death Machine score streak, but has the power of the Black Knight and Monty Python's The Holy Grail, which can be earned by completing 20 matches where you land 50 bullets with LMGs, otherwise known as playing Mayhem Mode and shoot into the Wardens while wearing Blind Eye, and the Trencher SMG that was codenamed MP28 comes with a noob tube already attached because that wasn't annoying on the OSA or anything, which can be unlocked by finishing 20 matches where you get 10 kills with a classic weapon because oh my god World War 2 hype. The score streak variants are actually not earned via supply drops, so the now available supply drops joke is on you as they're only craftable via salvage. Most of the codenames have changed from before, but the abilities are basically the same as I mentioned in previous video. These score streak variants will be available in the new game mode Prototype Drop Zone, which is coming this weekend, where instead of regular score streaks, you get the hot new freshness. The RPR Bozo Zuku is now also craftable with Salvage, where before it was part of the Elite Quartermaster collection that you could only earn in supply drops. Aside from all the other BPD Bops in the Quartermaster to get out of supply drops, like the sexy pink heart camo and the things that would show up in an anal scene at a Pornhub shoot, there is a new announcer pack on sale for $3.99, which is of Ozzy Man Reviews, who isn't even a Call of Duty YouTuber. What the fuck, Infinity Ward? I actually enjoy your game, and I'm a stellar voice actor. Hit me up, Ashton. I cannot. It is. I mean it triggers me. Well, fuck you too then, bitch. Anyways, the Infinity Ward crew also put some fixes into the patch, including updating the Trinity rocket to no longer curve around the edge of the observable universe like in the clip you see here. Assist scores are now doubled if you do the majority of the damage and some douche canoe crumb snatches your kill. I mean, it's not as if we had a game eight years ago that gave out assist points by damage done to enemies or anything. On to game modes as Infected was updated to remove the knife from certain loadouts given your melee is always a one hit anyways, and the OSA replaces the M1 and half Storm to give an even bigger advantage to the healthy over the sick, kind of like the current Republican drafted US healthcare plan. Another game mode update was for uplink in order to improve passing and the damage done by the drone so that this way you can't throw it out of score streak and destroy something that someone else earned. The VPR was even further nerfed because of how badly someone accidentally leaned on the slider from the last patch. Yeah, let's we'll do that today, you know. I just cranked the dial. Yeah, there's, yeah, there's just like, like little dials. Oh, and of course, since Infinity Ward can't do anything without fucking something up, the contract that gives out keys is bugged with people not receiving them, although Infinity Ward says that they're working on it. Oh, and there was a pseudo fix for the snaking issue introduced with the last patch, but there are still times when people can do it shown here, whereby you can't even shoot someone that's shooting back at you. You can't even see this guy that kills him. Awesome. Two steps forward, one step backwards. Infinite Warfare wasn't the only game to get new shit, as Modern Warfare Reimagined also got three new weapons introduced into the game. You've seen the BOS-14 in previous videos as the Groza 1 Assault Rifle. The Procolot pistol is eerily similar to the G18 models that were found early in the game's life cycle by data miners, with this one being a burst pistol, not fully auto. However, the Fang 45 SMG is something that we really haven't seen before that resembles an MPX with the first five bullets having a faster fire rate similar to the HBR from Advanced Warfare, of which the Modern Warfare Reimagined game engine is based on. However, there were other new weapons found in the game files with the latest patch that seem to indicate that they will be released sometime in June and also in August. There's footage of two new melee weapons, a tactical cleaver for when you feel like being in a lifetime movie to murder your husband, and the steel mace for when you want to run around like a medieval knight or a cop beating down a minority. There's also a new shotgun, the Ranger, that looks to be similar to the Modern Warfare 2 shotgun of the same name shown here. These three weapons, the Tribal Staff, which I've shown off in prior episodes, along with an unnamed sniper and LMG, both without gun models at this point, all have the June file name designations. The August file name designations are for an unknown assault rifle, SMG, and pistol, similar to the drop that we just had for May. Let me know down in the comment section which weapons you'd like to have for these future unknown guns. I think that the SCAR would be sick for an assault rifle, MG36 for an LMG, an old school KAR-98 or other World War II sniper because, oh my god, World War II hype, a UMP-9 SMG, and some sort of fully automatic Glock 18. 
Also in Modern Warfare Reimagined news, Gamefly may have let the cat out of the bag regarding a separate release for the game, decoupling it from Infinite Warfare, with a June 20th release date on the PS4 and a July 20th release date on the Xbox One because Activision is spelled with a dollar sign, and of course they'd hijack the remaster behind the exclusivity facade. Oh, and it'll probably be a full 60 fucking dollar release too. Lastly in Black Ops 3 news, Jason Blundell, lead director for Zombies at Treyarch, has revealed, via being as creepy as possible and undressing himself, that Zombies Chronicles is in fact happening and will be released on May 16th on the PlayStation 4 with no date for Xbox One or PC, nor any information regarding price or if it will be included in the season pass. <laughs> Sorry, I just realized how stupid that sounded saying it out loud given it's Call of Duty. The reveal was basically a 20 minute long ad revenue generator for JC Backfire's channel with no trailer or footage of the remastered maps at all, other than some weird random poster that is straight out of a Dan Brown novel, GG no re. But there will be a stream on the official trailer Twitch Monday, May 8th, which I assume is when the footage will be revealed. Anyway, stroking the ego of the underpowered consoles that we call now gen, Blundell said that there are eight maps being remastered to unleash their full potential with the current hardware. The map list is as follows. Three from World at War, Nocturne, Toten, Verrucht, and Shino Numa. Four maps from the original Black Ops, Kino, Der Toten, Ascension, Shangri-La, and Moon. And finally, Origin from Black Ops 2. Of course, they're only releasing the zombies maps with the four main characters in them because blowing the budget on higher paid actors was a terrible idea to do without character development. Will I be paying to run around in circles for hours on end just out of arm's reach? No thanks, I'll stick to the Black Ops 3 PC mods with a plethora of settings that have viable endings so I can eventually stop the fucking madness. I can't believe so many people are hyped about maps that they've already bought before just because they added gobble gums now into the mix. Although, it's not just Treyarch that recycles old maps. Mm -hmm. I believe they're probably talking about Dome. Uh, Genesis. Mm -hmm. Anyways, that's going to do it for the Call of Duty news of the week. I've been the Schwanz 27 out like racist fans in Boston. Until next time. As correctly as it could be. <laughs> as correctly as it could Ooh, be. Why are we got that nice lag going on? Mm. Uh, you got some packet loss going on. Yep. All right. Maybe it'll, maybe it'll straighten out. Nope. 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 All right.